In this video, we're going to show you how to choose colors based on an RGB value. If you notice, if you go to Create New, there's a couple of options. There's Basic CMYK Document, Basic RGB Document. CMYK is a color mode that allows you to that allows you to design using the colors CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black to mix together to create an image. Basic RGB document mixes the colors red, green, and blue. CMYK color mode is used when you're going to print your final design. RGB is used when you're going to create your design for a mobile device or any digital device, a computer, a projector, a phone. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose a basic RGB document. So we click on this one. We're going to call this Your Name RGB. And now we can see it says New Document Profile. We're going to keep it at basic RGB. We're going to change the size to letter size. Now let's make sure to change your units to inches. And so now we, if you have everything set up where you're in color mode RGB, your units are inches, and you've already given it a name, click OK. Now I have this document here that I want to create three colors. One color is going to be red, one color is going to be green, and one color is going to be blue. If I click on my ellipse tool, I'm going to draw one ellipse and I want to change the fill color of this ellipse to be red. To change the fill color, I'm going to double click on the fill colors over here in the tools. The color picker pops up. Now you may think, okay, I'm just going to click right here. But this red is different than this red. Or it's different than this red. They're all colors red, but they're slightly different. What I want is I want the true computer color red. If you look down here, there are three different options, R, G, and B. What we can do is we can change the value of these amounts to get true red. So for the R, we're going to put the highest value possible. RGB values have a value from 0 to 255. In that range, 0 means none of that color is used. 255 means the full amount of that color is used. So if I choose red, 255, it's going to give me the full amount of red. But now it's showing me it's not quite over here. True red would actually be right here in the corner. I'm going to change green to zero. And now I'm going to change blue to zero as well. And what this has done is it's created true red for me. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I have this red circle. I'm going to duplicate it by pressing the Alt key using the selection tool press Alt and drag, I've made another circle. I want to change this color to green. This time I'm going to change the R value to 0, the green value or the G value to 255, and the blue value to 0. Click OK, and now my color is green. I'm going to duplicate this one more time. So I'm going to press Alt and drag over. Oops, forgot to press Alt. Press Alt and drag the, uh, the circle over. Now with this circle, I'm going to double click on the fill. Again, I'm going to change green to zero and I'm going to change blue to 255. By doing this, if I click outside, notice it updates it. I now have the true colors red, green, and blue. Now if I wanted to create another color, let me duplicate this circle again. Let's say that I wanted to create purple. I would double click here. How would I create purple by mixing these colors? Well, we know that purple is created by mixing red and blue together. So I could put 255 for each of those to get purple. So now you can see how colors are made on digital devices by mixing the colors red green, and blue. To find out the RGB value of a color, to find out what the RGB value of a color is, simply select the color, go to the swatch, open up your color, color picker, and you can see what the RGB value is for that selected color. You can also choose a color 
and notice how it updates the RGB value for that. You use the RGB value of color when you're designing for something digital.